to you by Cadillac. Introducing the all-new 2008 Cadillac CTS. DLP HD TV. DLP is the official ESPN on ABC HD telecast sponsor of college football. Taco Bell. Think outside the bun. And the Home Depot. You can do it. So we're back to Norman, and it's kind of hard to believe that we opened this ball game with a deluge, a real storm. And uh, now the sun has come out and has turned into a delightful afternoon. DeMarco Murray back, back into the ball game at tailback, and he'll get the call. Tries to bounce it outside, and he has to hurdle the bench right in front of the wall. <laughs> and a couple of the coaches are saying, Catch our guy. Don't let him hit the bench over there. <laughs> the oh, man out. Yeah, that's right. I mean, he's our guy. <laughs> Look at this. They, they just they get out of the, the way. Yeah, yeah, they just parted the, the no, way. You're supposed to stand there and soften the blow. <laughs> oh, my. by Kenny Phillips, but not before he picks up the first down. And now let's go to Matt Weiner in our New York studio for a Sports Center in-game update. And an update on the O'Brien Bowl on Chestnut Hill. Tom O'Brien's old team has tied up his new one, or vice versa. It's Harrison back on the bootleg there to make it 7 all NC State and Boston College. And coming up next on ABC, a fair amount of anxiety in Ann Arbor about the home team. Michigan will try to get it together against Oregon when you wrap up in North. I have a feeling it's been a very serious, no-nonsense work week uh, in Ann Arbor. In fact, I know it has. Boy, hit from behind is Chris Brown. And let me show you that loss uh, from last week. Final play of the game, Corey Lynch is the man who will block the Michigan field goal attempt, trying to seal a victory. There's the block right there. He was well through. And then Jerry Moore carried off the field, Appalachian State, 34 to 32 over number five, Michigan. And I love what the AP did this week. They changed their rule to allow their voters to vote for lower division One teams. Double, I, I yeah. thought that was a great move by the AP. Yeah. Murray, stiff arms, takes it down to the 10 yard line. It's another first down. 11 yards on the play and uh, Carlos Amor makes the stop. Well, we did some research looking at some of the notable college football upsets. A lot of people thinking that might be the biggest, biggest ever. Carnegie Tech beats Notre Dame. Well, Newt Rockney figured they were going to win, so he didn't even go. He went to Army-Navy. Washington, who the year before had beat Oklahoma in the Orange Bowl to go 11-1, 37-point underdogs lose to Oregon State at home. And then the huge upset, Temple, over Virginia Tech back in 1998. That was when Virginia Tech was starting to get towards being a national championship caliber program. Well, Murray stopped in the middle of the line, and let's see, they're going to give him forward progress to around the nine-yard line. Clock is running, about to go under eight minutes left in our ball game. Zaslaw will check back in uh, as the fullback. Coming up from the big house, it is Oregon and Michigan. And next week, we'll take a look at the Pac-10 against the Big Ten again. We'll have the Ohio State Buckeyes up at UW. Pass in the flat, wide open. Zaslaw, the fullback, touchdown. Well, this game is exercising a lot of demons for some of the older OU fans who anybody over the age of about 35 years old who's an OU fan remembers oh so well the pain inflicted by Miami. Nobody knows it as well as Randy Shannon, who was a linebacker on those Miami teams that went 3-0. and A lot of fans in Oklahoma think that two of those losses may have cost Oklahoma National championship. Yeah, that's right. They sure do. It was interesting. I was watching the sideline. Fullbacks don't get a lot of attention. And for that, that extra point attempt is no good. It went wide left. But Zaslaw 
was given a bone on that one and he took it to the house and scored 44 13 our score with 741 remaining you're watching ESPN on ABC.